love this. That's great. Kryzen did uh, the last graphic for Buffalo also, and that was the comic book one. Yeah, that was super also cool. Really cool. Yeah, super cool. All right, anyway, back to the match. Nope, Pika Pika, Pikachu Ages, the battle of who will be top one. Yep, this decides it right here, starting PS2. Now, I heard through Pikachu mains on Twitter that this <laughs> matchup is even. I'm not really sure. How, I'm not. Don't quote me on that though, because I'm not. Like, I'm so unsure. Yeah, it's it's. Yeah, I'm not gonna comment. I would say I'm leaning towards Aegis here. Oh, Just, going going for that oh. down there doesn't quite do it. Mithra Uppy, like the hitbox that it has, is is really big. Like you don't expect it to hit yeah. you. That's a lot of. I mean, there are a few moves like that where and that coverage. And you're like a close range character like Pikachu, well, at least to kind of like get your combo started. Mm -hmm. um, you're just gonna, you can get caught with that. Yeah, and then all sure. of a sudden you get popped up and then there's the combo. Mm -hmm. All righty, Pika Pika trying to be a little bit more patient and just trying to find these openings. t right behind him. t is so good for Pikachu. Like, it's yeah. just, it's neutral. The projectile. It's, yeah, it's literally neutral TM, the projectile. It works everywhere. <laughs> when you're recovering, oh, you're recovering. The foresight? Nice. That was so good. That was such a good foresight. Even though he went down, I was scared that he didn't have a jump and like he would have SD'd. Like, I've seen a lot of Aegis do that, but that was so good. Ooh, there's, there's, foresight. there's foresight again. It's oh, such a, it's it's broken. It's a, it's a DLC cheater mechanic, <laughs> yeah. but it's so good. <laughs> oh man, and Aegis at 150 now. Trying oh, to, there goes it deep, is. Goes deep for that forward air because he can, because he's Pikachu. Yeah, we are cruising through this bracket. It was a lot of 2-0s. A lot of 2-0s. Uh, I'm honored Kyle was 2-1, I think. <laughs> that was 2-1. Yeah, I was like, the, I think that was the first game three we saw on stream. Yeah. But, uh, okay, good, good early damage here from Pika Pika. Only 92%. Oh, we can take a couple more hits. Tried. He tried for that down air, but just <laughs> mistimed it. Uh, uh, Mithra's side B goes through like a lot. It, yeah. it, it's such a long-lasting move that you don't expect, and it's huge. So you it's don't really huge. expect it. Like when you think it's over, it's not. Yeah, even when you're trying to set up for like ledge pressure, that side B just catches you. Okay, switching, he's already to Pyra. Doesn't. Yeah, Pikachu, Ooh, Pikachu can just. Masterful. Yeah, Pikachu can just go under like blazing end. Yeah. When or literally above it, he can do whatever. His recovery has a lot of flexibility. Yeah, already going back to me. Oh, that was so smart. Oh, clutch. That, was, that was so smart to do that, though. Oh, punish, though. It was a good attempt. 84% Noke, though. It's, yeah, it's a pretty good bit, lead. It's a little bit of a hill, but... And especially against Pikachu, because Pikachu can just zone with uh, Tijolt. And yep. Aegis kind of has to go in, because Mithra loves to, like, just be aggro. So it's a little bit hard if Pika Pika just decides to uh, uh, Tijolt camp. Yeah, Noke has no problem approaching. Uh, we're trying to find... Oh, but yeah, there's that neutral, the oh, uh, projectile. Oh, grab. And that air mobility from Pikachu, the drift back right there. Being able to bait out any of those moves from Pyra. Yeah, honestly, Pikachu's air drift is, like, surprisingly really good. <laughs> just, like, you know, just to add on top of everything that Pikachu has already, he has good air drift. For sure. Now, oh, I think they're doing amateur squad strike. Oh, are they? Oh, okay. Oh, maybe not. Oh, are they it might be regular bracket. Oh, okay. Anyway, 149% no. Definitely did his job with uh, with this stock. Yeah, up throw doesn't kill yet. I think that would have killed Mithra, uh, but not Pyra. I think there is a weight difference. So. Pika wow. Pika already trying trying to find this kill. F till he could have grabbed an up throw in there. Yep. Down air, no down air coming from Pika Pika. Really patient oh, there. Caught the, F, the forward air, yeah. Forder is taking the stock. Noke has one more stock left in game one. Oh, good foresight. Noke has been on fire with these foresights yeah, lately. Just, like some, just sometimes he can't get the punish because Pikachu like doesn't have to commit to things. Yeah. Good back air there, trying to find the early damage. Easy chase. Yeah, right in the forward. Oh, fell out of it, and that's not gonna kill. No, pu a punish here. No, it doesn't go for down air. Patience. patience. Good patience. Yeah, yeah, good patience coming from uh, Pika Pika. He doesn't want to get caught with up air, especially now because he'll die for it. No grab coming from either of them. Oh, that was scary. If he was still uh, Pyro, that could have been really bad. Yeah, this I mean, Pika Pika holding on to this stock really well. Foresight. Yeah, there's a the foresight. He's been on fire with those this uh, this uh, game, honestly, because it's only game one. Yeah, yeah, it feels like it's been the whole set already. It's yeah, been it such has, a back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's already almost at two minutes, so it kind of right. has been. 
Okay. It's pretty close. Could be anybody here. Yeah, it's pretty close. Noka's really... Oh, he wanted that down there. He wanted to end it. Yeah, but still, I mean, Pika Pika has to approach, has to maintain center and get back to center. Yeah, Pikachu doesn't really have to approach. He can still do what he's doing now and just teach ult. Oh, right. that up tilt scary. But we wanted to get back, yeah, maintain the stage control Dash as best back. we can. That was good DI on it. Oh, just missed, yeah, just that, missed was... that teach ult. That could have been really bad Trying for Noka that uh, teach ult hit. Oh, weave no. around those teach ults again, too. That's, yeah. That's crazy. Ooh, okay. Coming at oh, oh, the Foresight. Foresight. Oh, no, he Good wanted F smash. He definitely wanted F smash, but yeah. he'll just take the, those jabs. Only a minute and a half left in this game. Oh. It's definitely not going to time, though. No. We'll see. Oh, oh there's the forward air. The last hit of forward air takes it for Pika Pika. <clears throat> game one. That would have been pretty scary if we missed that entirely, because I think that would have given uh, Noka an opportunity for sure. That's crazy. To come back oh, around no. off stage. Why is DSC still blasting on me? Uh, I told <laughs> Yeah, it's cold in this building. It's super cold. Like, I it's it was... 75 degrees outside, and it feels like 20 degrees cooler in here. <laughs> yeah, I almost left the house with shorts, and I was like, well... I'm, I'm in shorts. Yeah. Like, I'm in shorts and t-shirt, because it it's hot as hell outside, and I'm just like, why is it cold in here? Pikachu. Same characters. I don't know where they went, stage-wise. Let's see. Noak's pick? Oh, town. Okay. Yeah, town and city. All right. Nope, probably find a little more success here. Already short with already going with the foresight. Yeah. We've, we're hitting it. Find that early damage. Town and City shorter side blast zones too, so hopefully Noke has more success here. Yeah. Hopefully, like he can get some early kills with Pyra, and it's just like yeah. the bigger, the higher ceiling. I don't know if that's such a good thing for uh, Pyramithra. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, a couple of Pika Pika's kills were off the side with forward air catch, so we'll see how it works. Yeah, we'll see. Because right now, uh, Pika Pika has a good good lead right now. He's just trying to get some more damage. Oh, oh. nice snipe. Foresight again, though. Yeah, yeah Noka has been really good with those uh, foresights on t -Jol. It's so easy. It seems like it's really easy for him. Oh, he read for the air, the, the directional air dodge, but he switched. Oh, okay. Up throw? No, back throw. Oh, uh, this is a punish? No, it's oh, not a punish. Oh, we committed. We tried. Oh. Yeah, it's so it seems really hard for Pyra and Mithra just to catch Pikachu like where he's recovering. Like I know Mithra down tilt is really good for two framing. Oh, that takes it. Yeah, that was debatable. 160 <laughs> percent. Yeah, that might have been. They could have been better DI, but uh, still, Pika Pika up a stock. Oh, missed the grab uh, there. That's gonna be easy early damage for Pika Pika. Oh, oh no, no. Does, doesn't get the loops. Let's try it again, back air. Oh, oh good air dodge. dodge. Yeah, Clutch. That, that's why Mithra's air dodge is like one, the best in the game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, makes sense. Find it, but that drift back. Or, I'm, I'm, or I, might be, I might be thinking of like, no, I am thinking of air dodge. I might be, I, I might be dumb. <laughs> Pika Pika looking pretty good right now. Comfortably up a stock. Did we find that up air? No, no, but we're jumping up, trying to bait out the air dodge. Yeah, that pop up with the, uh, yeah, he has to switch to Mithra. Like Mithra's like Mithra's fastball speed is so good against Pikachu that like he Pikachu won't be able to get juggles that very often as opposed to Pyra. Yep. Uh, Pika Pika now like oh, oh that, under stage, that's that ballsy. doesn't Let's hit. See it. That didn't hit either. Great attempt. Oh, wow. If anything, I think it kind of saved his recovery. A lot of like no had to reset for a second there. Oh, oh the footstool. footstool! Oh no, that's not that's uh, not gonna matter. It's Pikachu. But we're gonna catch him with that blade. All right, 110 percent. Pyramithra, though, really like good, well placed forward air on Town and City. That's gonna tip, put it away. Ooh. Yeah, uh, Mithra can't really seem to get as like optimal combos on uh, Pikachu just because of his size. Yeah. Like it's really, it seems really hard for Nope just to get these uh, combos going. And those T jolts just yeah, catching them. Yeah, T jolts so good. Like, oh, we tried to contest that. Wow. We were like, I got time. Yeah, I got he, time to smack him. He jumped and then did thunder, and Noak thought he had enough time, but didn't. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, I mean, still pretty doable. 81% Pikachu. We can see an early stock loss here. Yeah. yeah. Pikachu can always just, you know, get down air off stage because uh, Aegis does not have the best recovery. Yeah, he's going for that blazing end. Doesn't get severely punished for it. Oh, like that. He tried going for down air. Oh, nice. Just outside of it. Oh. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. it. No way. The hitbox on quick attack just gives Snoke and that Just shows you how 
It shows you how comfortable Pika is off stage. Yeah, Pikachu can just, it's so hard to contest Pikachu off stage. It's so hard. It's very difficult. Yeah. But good stuff to Pika Pika. 